Business style. I'm headed up the ladder right to the top of the pile. Mm. I recycle my dollars just to help you out. Talk about profit. Yeah. Hey, Taurus, this is Soul. And Taurus, this is your uh, week ahead. Energy is beginning March 9th and ending March 15th, 2020. Uh, the messages will be for Taurus Sun, uh, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising Signs as well. All right, my fellow bulls, I hope all is well. Um, let's get into your energies to see what's coming up for you potentially. Uh, once more, I'm using the Hulu uh, Tarot deck to deliver your uh, energy since upcoming week. All right. Taurus, stay tuned. All right, Taurus. Let's see what's coming up for you guys this upcoming week. Uh, Taurus sun, moon, and Taurus rising signs. All right. So a quick little piece uh, PSA here, Taurus. Uh, you know, this, this whole thing, if you're not aware about uh, the coronavirus, uh, this is just my part. And helping to spread knowledge and news and information and not misinformation or disinformation, but um, being a um, healthcare provider myself, you know, registered nurse, just be vigilant, you know, wash your hands, pay attention to any updates that are coming your way in terms of uh, the, tr you know, the transmission of the coronavirus and this is not to sound uh, paranoid or uh, crazy, but I always, for me personally, I always, you know, when situations like this break out for us, you have to treat the person as if they're already infected. So, you know, it's not being, you know, paranoid on my part or, you know, um, crazy or anything like that. No, it's just being, you know, like I said, vigilant. You have to make sure that you're protecting yourself. If you're sick, why bother going into work? Stay home. Uh, you know, when you're coughing, sneezing, uh, make sure that you're doing that properly. Um, but effective hand washing is a, a basic, something that we should be doing anyway. You know, after you use the bathroom, before you cook your meals, before, um, you know, just do it more often than you normally would do. Um, and I'm not going to say that you shouldn't have any problems, but then by doing those things, then you're decreasing uh, the chances of you uh, becoming affected. OK, so that was my little PSA shadow card energy for you, Taurus, this upcoming week. Um, the energy that may play out along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you. And we have. The Black Herman, the magician. Okay, so the Black Herman is here. The magician, two sides of this Black Herman. Uh, of course, the positive aspect is is that um, whatever it is that you're uh, planning to do or already have lined up to do, Taurus, the uh, all the elements here are present. So this is a very powerful card for you guys this upcoming week, especially when it relates to positive stuff that you're trying to incorporate into your uh, your life or, you know, if it's connected to your relationships or, you know, it could be your work energy, whatever it is. They're saying that you have everything to manifest. This is a card of manifestation. So you have that energy on your side. Um, the negative side is that, you know, I always read this card as, you know, the magician as a real person. This is someone who's a tr trickster. This is someone who's a manipulator. Uh, I've always talked about in the past of how they could be um you know, placing on masks to try to extract some type of energy from someone uh, that's still, you know, true or holds true. These people are uh, sociopathic. These people are narcissistic. OK, so I don't want to get into the whole sh spiel of those things that I have talked about in the past, because all you have to do is just either you can, you know, type in the search in uh, YouTube or Google or whatever and you know, put in narcissism, narcissist, and then you'll have a volume of information. OK, so um, <clears throat> that's what I have here. And the only thing that I can say is just to be careful. You know, you might uh, be dealing with these persons uh, as we speak. These could be family members. These could be romantic partners, friendships and so forth. So just be careful. Identify the, the energies that you're dealing with and then knowing to. Um, what I always say, this is just something that I feel, excuse me, 
if you can identify the energies, just to try to distance yourself from them as much as you possibly can, because they will hurt you. That's the bottom line. They will end up causing grief and all kinds of hurt. Um, so, yeah, that's your shadow card energy. Black Herman, uh, the magician. And it's definitely going to be some energy that plays out along with the rest of the cards. Your uh, other energy for the week, however, is the uh, Gula Jack. Gula Jack is the hangman, okay? It's in the reverse position. Uh, just to show you what Gula Jack looks like. Hangman, and this is just a neutral type of energy here, even though it's a major arcana, it's in the reverse. So the aspect of the uh, reversal of Gula Jack or the hangman, in this instance, and for your case, uh, Taurus, it relates to having to, uh, and it may have been, you know, related to the energies of the previous week, that you took some time um, to evaluate something, think about something, whatever it is, this is an open general reading. And now you're this week, you're ready to move forward with those energies. That's all I can say about the uh, Gula Jack being in the reverse position okay because normally when it's in the upright positions it's about having to give yourself more time to think about uh, a situation or evaluate something a little bit longer before you forge or move ahead so you may have already thought about it the previous week and now this week might be the energies where you go ahead and express yourself uh, still a neutral card for me so whatever was hanging in the balance for some of you things may have been sitting on the fence well the reversal of this card is they're no longer, you know, sitting on the fence, things hanging in the balance. What's crossing that uh, Gula Jack or the uh, Hermit? We had the nine of, ooh, look at that, the nine of knives. The nine of knives is the nine of swords, okay? And it's in the reverse position. This is what it looks like in the upright. All right, very, um, yeah, it's a very deep card in terms of its energies here. So in the reversal, however, this is pretty good because I like the nine of, uh, swords or the nine of knives in the reverse and it's your immediate environment so that means that it could be that uh when i talk about the nine of swords the nine of swords in the upright uh oftentimes means lies deceptions betrayals shaming uh definitely a great dealing with a great deal of mental energies mental anxiety um defamation cheating having affairs all those things may come into play but because it's in a reverse position also too i get um having to deal with some sort of past uh conflicting energies now either that is the energy uh pertaining to self or if the conflicting energies was in connection with other people so just think about this here for a second taurus if this nine of swords or nine of knives is in the reverse and it's crossing the hangman major arcana and I said to you that there is something that you're about to uh, move forward with because you've given yourself enough time to think about it. Uh, if this nine of swords is crossing that because it's in relationship to having to uh, finally get to the point of dealing with some sort of unresolved conflicting energies that you may have with another person, or it could be those things, you know, like I said before, pertaining to self. Now you're ready to move forward. So that means also to the nine of swords is that you uh, addressed or you brought to the surface of those conflicting energies and you either they were either uh, in connection with other people or they weren't but you're now ready to deal with them and sort those energies out okay so it's sort of like freeing you up and I like that that's why I said I like the nine of swords because it's almost like uh, freeing you up from some sort of mental bondage or you know feeling like you're um, you know overly conflicted and now this is like either lessening or uh, something major you're about to do this upcoming week, whether it's involving other people, um, it's clearing up the space, clearing up that energy uh, that might have been, you know, the type of energy that might have been plaguing you, okay, that was conflicting you. Um, but now you're clearing it up and you're ready to move forward in the positive, uh, positive direction. So I like that. Following the nine of knives or the nine of swords here for you, uh, Taurus, we have the three of coins and this is your energy. So it showed up here for Pisces. This could be a small pay raise. This could also be, uh, this is my uh, reward or merit uh, card. So some of you could be receiving congratulations or some sort of uh, news uh, that could be specifically related to the work that you do. Uh, could be just a pat on the back job, 
well done. Now, this could be involving the workplace environment or it could be uh, involving the outside environment. You know that you're working with other people uh, in unison to achieve the same common goal. This could be also for those TARs putting in extra hours in your workplace environment or it could be others um, putting in extra work or time. Uh, and it could be related to another job outside of your full time regular job. So this is still a promotion. This is still a small pay raise, a bonus, um, being recognized for the work that you do, possibly being rewarded for what you do. So this is your energy, Taurus, and that of uh, the other Earth signs, Capricorn and Virgo. So three of coins is here. Up next is the uh, John Horse. John Horse is the emperor. So this is a major arcana. So this is about you going forward this upcoming week, being in control and maintaining order of yourself and those things that uh, crop up for you or whatever it is that you got going on this upcoming week. It's not so much about you having to be in control and trying to um, be, you know, have others be in order or in alignment with you. No, this is all about you. So you moving forward, uh, being in control. And uh, so far, you have three major arcanas that are showing up here. It's only an eight card spread, Taurus. Uh, also, too, I could be just reading for what well, this card would indicate law. Justice and law, law enforcement. So it could be that there's some bulls who work in those capacities or there's something going on that may be involving uh, the legal uh, situation or not. But I wouldn't uh, pay too much attention to it or, you know, dig too deeply in it. This is a card of authority. So it could be that some people are moved into positions of authority. It could be in the workplace environment. It could also be on, on the outside of the workplace and environment. So normally when this card comes through here and I say placed in a position of authority, just think in terms of um, it could be that or you're going to be wearing different hats or playing different roles. All right. But you're going to be good because this is a card of control and maintaining order. So and then position or thrown into a position of authority or some other type of entity may be involving the workplace environment. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. Aries represents that emperor and the other fire signs, Leo and Sagittarius, male or female. All right. So what's up next here for you, Taurus? We have the son of baskets. So this is the Knight of cups. So this is a court card. This is a card of, you know, of course, it represents relationships, uh, but it could also be just the attributes that you experience this upcoming week and feeling emotionally happy, satisfied, content and joy um, when it's come, you know, when it comes to your work, when it comes to your relationships. Uh, the exchanges that you have with other people. This could be someone who comes along and, and just offers some sort of emotional support. That could be a brother. That could be your lover. That could be, um, you know, a good friend. Could be also a family member. You know, cups do represent children for me, but this would be an older uh, type of family member. You know, it could be a teenager. It could be a, someone who is in their 20s, 30s, 40s and so forth. When I get to be 50 or above, that's when I look at the king and the queen's energies. But this is, you know, um, I, feel, I feel it's 20, through the 20 year range, through the, uh, up to 50. Okay. And the page still be a younger energy, energy would represent um, anyone from birth to uh, like 18, 19. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female represents this uh, son of baskets. And also, too, it could be an indication of uh, someone new coming into your life in the form of a relationship, friendship, well, romantic relationship or a friendship. All right. So following the uh, son of baskets here, we have Taurus for you, the eight of knives. Now, isn't that something? The eight of knives, the nine of knives is your immediate environment and it's reversed. Now, the eight of knives shows up here. So as we're moving along, uh, you know, progressing through the week, there might be some energies here where some of you are uh, still stressing out about something. Now, it is following a relationship card. So maybe that's just for those who come along and then someone is stressing out about their particular relationship. But the one thing that you need to keep in mind about this eight of uh, knives or eight of swords here, this sometimes is a tricky type of uh, energy here because it could be indicative of. Um, you being worried or concerned, having doubts, losing sleep, feeling like you're restricted, feeling like you're bound. And then 
it may all be for nothing, okay? Um, and then for others, it may be something that is real, but you have to identify uh, if any of these energies uh, you experience this upcoming week to identify it and then try to sort it out on a mental level. OK, so um, having to deal with some sort of fear, unknown fears and all of that stuff comes under the eight of knives uh, type of energy. So this is representing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. And I always, you know, I'll go back and say it again, please, if you are stressing out about something it could be stressing out about you know your work your your relationships at least try to give yourself the benefit of the doubt of you know identifying exactly what it is and then addressing you know addressing it to release yourself from uh some type of mental anguish that uh you could be experiencing and like i said before it could be that it's all those worries, doubts, concerns, and it's all over nothing. All right. So up next here, Taurus, for you is the, uh, okay, Aunt Caroline. Out, excuse me. Aunt Caroline is here, and she's the major arcana, the will of fortune. So now you have the good luck and good fortune on your side, and this is the fate and destiny card. And it mirrors the relationship card, as I always, you know, already mentioned. This is two is a relationship card. So uh, good luck and good fortune is on your side in some type of endeavor. Uh, fate and destiny being at the right place at the right time for some of you. And then also to uh, some of you could be, you know, coming into some big money. This is a gambling card. This is the fortune wheel of fortune. So if you are a Taurus or a bull that uh, gambles, just gamble responsibly. I was trying to look at the, there's a hand here and he's trying to hand her something. I don't know exactly what that is. Oh, actually, you know what? He's, it's a camera. It's a camera. He's taking her picture. Okay. So that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing here, but this is a good card. Major Arcana. So you have good luck and good fortune on your side this upcoming week. All right, so following the Wheel of Fortune, let's see, you have three major arcana. Actually, you have four major arcanas, uh, Taurus, and it's only a, a card spread. Your last card for the spread is, of course, the Two of Sticks. The Two of Sticks is the Two of Wands. And for some of you, you might be experiencing something slow or not moving fast enough. Uh, for others, it could be just, you know, ideals coming to you planning things for the future, writing things down, but you don't have all the resources just yet to, to move forward. So it might be the energies that show up for the following week here. Uh, so yes, the number two could represent another, you know, another person. It does mirror the uh, court card, the son of basket. So maybe someone or, you know, someone is dealing with the aspect of a relationship that's not moving or progressing in the direction that they want it to be. Now, they don't have to be a water sign. That might explain the eight of knives that's coming through here, too. So got a lot of uh, energy here. But for the most part, it's more positive um, and moving forward for quite a few of you. OK, so let's just see how the energies unfold for you. And as I always say, this is just potential stuff. Uh, we just have to wait to see uh, what takes place. And, um, you know, I do appreciate you in the comments. Uh, so let me know. And whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, Taurus, do it safely. And also, um, yeah, do it safely and I will talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.